Hi, welcome to the Agility Drills. I've taken a slightly different stance to the seminar requirements for this uh, task, purely because I'm slightly incapacitated myself due to injury. Anyway, so what I'm doing is, is I've picked a, uh, a sport-specific drill, which is uh, really I've, I've, I've tailored myself for my athlete. Um, and the idea is that I'm doing, going through three phases, the first being pattern movement, then I'm mixing up the, um, the movement to make it all complicated um, with uh, random instructions for myself, and then I'm putting a sport-specific um, element to it as well. So what I'm going to do throughout this uh, video is um, we'll have a look first of all how the athlete um, did each stage or each increment of the actual task and slow the uh, video down, we can look at the movement, how it changed, uh, how the athlete improved, uh, what was actually happening uh, for improvement. Okay. Okay, so I'm again using my Jiu Jitsu athlete for this task. Um, what I'm basing it upon is the groundwork um, on the mats before the athletes go down with um, shuffling and moving around one another. So just looking at this um, spa here, we can see the key importance thing with Jiu Jitsu is to actually not cross the legs because it gives an advantage to the opponent because you're in a weaker stance position and also they're in a bent over posture as well. Um, while they're you know, um, looking for each other's movements, if somebody's going to reach out and, and grab the, uh, the G, the Jiu Jitsu suit. So it's a particularly fixed sort of uh, movement, and we're going to base the agility task around that. Yeah. Fast though, fast as so you can. Think about you going away from an opponent. Mix it up. Okay, okay. Great. Come on, let's go. It's a fight. Let's go. Great, great, great. Mistake. Start again. Start again. To the middle. Focus. Ready? Three, two, one. Blue. Green. Blue. Faster, faster. Great. Great, 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 great. Refocus. Start again. This is good because I'm testing you. All right, go back to the middle. Ready, get ready. So we're going to be blue, green, or grey. Ready, blue, green. Faster though, get there fast. Green, stay, go, great. Come on. When I said okay, you go fast as possible. All right, fast as possible. You ready? This is your come out. Right. You ready? Go. Blue, grey, 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 grey. Let's go. Green, grey. Blue, grey, green, grey, green. Ah. Okay, so let's have a look at the, the first attempt at this move. And what we see with my athlete as he's going to each side with the rear leg, he's not loading in preparation, ready to shuffle to the, uh, the call to each colour. So... Here we go, so he's going back. So if you look at the, the right leg, there's a stop. He's, he's going forward with his uh, left leg first of all. There's no braking, there's no um, timing with the feet. Going back towards the grey cone, he's looking back, his spatial awareness is bad. We're looking for that uh, left leg to load. The timing again has caught him out. Okay, so after multiple practices, uh, now let's look at the at the uh, the feet movement in contrast to the, uh, the the drill which I just showed you in the last clip. So here we go again. The call out of the colours for the kettlebells. You can see it's tuned in more, so we've got to load straight away from the left leg. We're looking for that right leg to load, to push, to transfer forward. Okay, a slight loading of both. We're looking again for the left this time to push from the grey. An adjustment of the foot much better. Okay, more speed of reaction from the right, pushing backwards, a nice braking force as well, creating impulse, shuffling across much more efficiently, much better timing. Really good from here with the with the right leg. 
So really what's, what's happened is the major changes is the breaking and the creation of force from the rear legs, the so generating power. So uh, as discussed in the lectures, we're generating movement by moving backwards first of all, okay, the timing again finally, but much more efficient. Okay, so just looking at the, the, the final part of the agility skill where I've implemented the, the medicine ball throw, which uh, is thrown with uh, no cue at all to the athlete. He has to uh, get on top of the balls if he's taking down an opponent. And what we can see in this is putting all the skills together, his spatial awareness, his braking um, movement through shuffling, the drive, the speed to go to each cone. <clears throat> It's pretty natural, obviously, with the takedown through uh, hours and hours of, uh, of practice there. But, as I say, all the time I'm calling out the cones and mixing the ball into it. So he's got multiple uh, um, things to be aware of here. And he's performing well. He's light on his feet. Okay, he's ready for the next phase of the movement. So a great improvement from the initial skill. Uh, initial task rather, and I was purely just mixing it up by calling out the coloured cones.